we are again into another session on surface area and volume I will be taking up the same uh, conversion of solids and uh, that I write up one question an agricultural land or a field is in the form of a rectangle of length 20 meter width oh length 20 meter and width given to be 14 meter Fine. a 10 meter deep well is oh that of the diameter the values of the diameter 7 meter is dug in a corner of the land and the earth which is taken out of the well that is spread evenly over the remaining part of the land find the rise of this rise in its level that means the level of the field or the land suppose this is the rectangle here is a wheel duck now the well the volume of the earth which is dug out from this well is now to be evenly spread in the rest of the area so what is the volume of the earth dug it will be pi r square h because it will take a cylindrical shape pi oh i think i had mentioned that i'll be taking up a circle here but no i when i read the question i find it to be a cylinder cylindrical shape shape so it's pi what is the radius of it given the diameter is 7 so it is 7 by 2 sorry 7 by 2 square and the depth of the veil is given veil is given to be 10 this is the volume of the earth dug now what is the rest of the area we need to find the rest of the area where you you know this earth uh, the dug earth is to be spread length is given to be 20 width is given to be 14 so area of the whole this rectangle becomes area of the whole thing becomes 20 into 14 that's giving 280 meter square now the this area of the veil is to be subtracted the area of the veil is pi veil will be pi r square that being a circle so pi r is given to be 7 by 2 square that if it's calculated it is 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 that's giving us some 77 by 2 meter square now that means the remaining area this part without the well will be 280 minus 77 upon 2 so that will give us some 483 by 2 hmm. now volume of the raised field this part will be equal to the volume of this dug earth now volume of the dug earth will be this area this is the area given oh i didn't solve this part as well i should have done it here so it is 22 by 7 or i could have done it below as well so it is 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into 10 that would just be giving me some 35 into 11 
35 oh, 35 into 11 is some 385 I think yeah it's 385 that is in meter cube now this becomes the area multiplied by the height will give us the volume of that area should that should be equal to the volume of the duct earth so h would become 385 into 2 by 438 now let me solve this oh sorry if not 438 when it it is 483 so it is that my 483 it's giving us some 1.59 meters okay that is the height or the level which will increase due to the or will that will rise due to the earth being dug here is placed on the rest of the area. I hope you followed it. So, I take on another question. We will be writing up the question as we do generally. Water is being pumped out through a oh, through a circular pipe. Find which was diagonal sorry internal diameter is given to be some seven centimeter. If the flow of water is some 72 centimeter per second, how many liters of water are being pumped out in one hour that's the question this is let me just re oh reading it started when i started it said i made a mistake wherein it is id this is not id that should be water is being pumped hmm? out through a circular pipe whose internal diameter is given if the flow of the water is 72 centimeter per second how many liters of water are being pumped out in one hour Okay, as because the diameter is given to be 7, the radius now becomes 7 by 2 centimeter. Right. Now, water from a water column would form a cylindrical shape. Okay. The radius will remain the same here. Water is flowing at a rate of some 72 centimeter per second. That means the length of the water column flowing out in one second will be, I will write it down wherever I told you, oh, the length of the water, oh god there is quite some spelling mistake, ty typo error, flowing out in one second length of the water column flowing out in one second will thus be given as 72 centimeter now what is the volume of the water which is flowing out in one second that is volume of the cylinder which is of radius 7 pi 2 that is uh, the given radius and the length 72 centimeter as because it is in the cylindrical shape so we take it up as pi r square h so it is 22 upon 7 by r square and the h is 72 if i so 36 into 7 into 11 
टू सेवन सेवन टू इज द वॉल्यूम ओह क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द वाटर फ्लोइंग इन वन सेकेंड नाउ वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू वन आर नाउ वन आर इज कॉट सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी दैट्स थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स सो दिस इज इन वन सेकेंड सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट टू सेवन सेवन टू इन टू थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इन टू थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड गिवस यू सम नाइन नाइन सेवन नाइन 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 सेवन नाइन टू जीरो जीरो दिस इज इन क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर दे वॉन्ट अस टू आंसर इन मीटर सो वन लीटर इज थाउजेंड क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर देयर बाई इफ आई डिवाइड दिस बाई थाउजेंड दैट विल गिव अस द एरिया सॉरी द लीटर द नंबर ऑफ लीटर ऑफ वाटर फ्लोज आउट पर आर दो इट इज थाउजेंड इट्स नाइन नाइन सेवन नाइन पॉइंट टू जीरो जीरो liters of water flowing out okay one more question i can fit in here write it in the next when i take up the first writing part let me use some other color the cost of painting cost of painting the total outside surface of a closed cylindrical oil tank at Sixty paise per square decimeter is some um, rupees two thirty seven point six zero. The height of the tank is six times the radius. of the base of the tank find its volume correct to two decimal places hmm. i quickly do this we have to find out the surface area of a closed cylindrical tank at this the height of the tank is 6 times the radius okay now if i am taking radius to be r r decimeter okay they are in decimeter so what will be the height height is given to be 6 times the radius so it will be 6r so what is the total surface area it is given by 2 pi r r plus h because it is 2 pi r and i plus h so sorry 2 pi r and r plus h this is how we write it thereby if i substitute this h with 6r this we are getting this is given to be that is what if i remove i'm getting 2 pi r square 2 pi r square plus 12 pi r square that is some 14 pi r square okay and the cost of painting will then be cost of painting will then be 60 paise so it becomes 60 by 100 rupees that makes it in rupees into 14 pi r square let it be as it is so i'll just simply simplify the numerical parts 
5 so it is 42 by 5 pi r square this is the cost of painting but the cost of total painting is also given as 237.60 so we can equate 42.5 pi r square with 236.60 so that is 42 by 5 into 22 by 7 into r square is equal to 237.60. Now if this is being solved we get r to be equal to 3 decimeter. If r is 3 decimeter we also have to find the volume we also need h so h is 6 r so it is 18 decimeter volume is given by pi r square h as because it is a cylindrical tank so it is 22 by 7 r we, r square so it is 3 3 is a 9 and height is 18 Again, if this is solved, you will get it in decimal. So, it is 509.14 cubic decimeter. Hope you followed it. Thank you.